Hello viewers, welcome to another session of the anatomy series and moving on to the next topic of the scalp. Particular, the, the topic of my discussion is about the nerve supply of the scalp. Already in my previous videos, I have mentioned about the arterial supply, the venous drainage, the lymphatic drainage, and now another very important topic, what is mostly asked in all the professional exams, is about the nerve supply. Either it can come as a short note or as a long question. So students and viewers out there, I have made it very simpler in the form of a tabular form or I have made it in the form of a classification, this line diagram. So this nerve supply of the scalp is basically divided into two, cat two broad, sub uh, broad categories. That is the sensory supply to the scalp and the motor supply to the scalp. So students and viewers out there, be very specific and clear that each half of the scalp, that is each half of the scalp, if I'm talking of the scalp from the right or the left side, so each half of the scalp is going, to, is supplied by eight sensory nerves and two motor nerves. That is each half of the scalp is supplied by eight number of sensory nerves and each half of the scalp is supplied by two in number the motor nerves. That is the sensory supply comprises of the eight nerves and the motor supply comprises of the two nerves. So viewers, I have made it much simpler in the form of a mnemonic. I have tried to make a mnemonic students. So please do remember in this very order if you want to remember it well. So sensory supply can again be classified, can again be divided into two broad categories. That is the ones which are lying, going to lie in front of the ear and the other which are going to lie behind the ear. So students out there, the uh, branches, the nerve supply, what is going to lie in front of the ear, these are actually the branches of the trigeminal nerve. So the nerve supply, what is going to lie in front of the ear, they are the branches of the trigeminal nerve. So the first nerve, what is going to lie in the front of the ear, it is the supratrochlear nerve. That is, the supratrochlear is the first nerve which is going to lie adjacent to the supratrochlear artery, supratrochlear vein and adjacent to it the supratrochlear nerve is also going to lie. Next nerve is the supraorbital nerve. It is also going to lie adjacent to the supraorbital artery, the vein and the supraorbital nerve. Next comes the branch, another branch of the trigeminal nerve which lies in front of the ear. It is the zygomaticotemporal nerve. All right, students over there. It is the zygomaticotemporal nerve. And next, another branch of the trigeminal nerve is the auriculotemporal nerve. So these are the four nerves what are going to lie in front of the ear and these sub provide sensory supply to the scalp. All right, students. Now moving on to the next that is behind the ear. That is the nerve supply, the sensory nerve supply, what is going to lie behind the ear. So again, these of the nerve supply, what is there? So uh, these are the nerves what are supplying here. They are the branches of the cervical plexus. So the cervical plexus, the branches of the cervical plexus are going to supply the, post the uh, region of the scalp behind the ear. So now here we are going to have the first nerve under this category is the greater auricular nerve. Next, the lesser occipital nerve. Moving on to the next nerve, it is the greater occipital nerve. And last, it is the third occipital nerve. So students out there, I have made, uh, tried to make a mnemonic about it. So just students look here, when in talking of the in front of the ear, you can very easily remember the supra and the supra trochlear and the supra orbital, the supra supra words are common. So I have taken the word T. The supra orbital nerve, again, supra is common over here. So I have chosen the word O. The zygomatico, the Z of the zygomatico, and the A of the auricular temporal. That is toza. When you look at the word T O Z A, that is the toza nerve, students. So this mnemonic is will help you to easily remember as to what are the nerves in front of the ear. And students, if you do uh, remember this um, 
mnemonic or the short trick please don't mention it in, in the exam you just need to remember this mnemonic or the short trick to yourself and do pen down all the nerves in the exams now this is the tosa nerve over here the supratrochlear the supraorbital the z of the zygomatico temporal and the a of the auricular temporal that is the tosa nerve now moving on to the nerves what are going to lie behind the ear again i have made a mnemonic the first is the greater auricular nerve so just look at the initials of the nerve and you can make their own short forms that is great of the g of the great the a of the auricular and the n of the nerve that is gam Similarly, the lesser occipital nerve, that is the L of the lesser, O of the occipital, N for the nerve, long. Similarly, greater occipital nerve, that is the G of the great, O of the occipital, N of the nerve, that is gone. And T, third, T of the third, O of the occipital, and N of the nerve, that is torn. So similarly, the uh, nerve supply, the sensory nerve supply, what is going to lie behind the ear, can be better remembered if we just remember the words can, long, gone, turn. So similarly, students out there, make I have made this mnemonic for your convenience, for your easy comfort, and you can easily pen down the nerves in the exams and remember it in the, when it comes to the MCQs too. So can, long, gone, and turn. Now moving on to the motor supply. That is the motor supply of the scalp. Each half of the scalp is supplied basically by two motor nerves. That is, these the motor nerves of the scalp, they are basically the branches of the facial nerve. So, the first branch of the facial nerve is the temporal branch of the facial nerve. And moving on to the second branch, that is the posterior auricular branch of the facial nerve. So students out there, this was my analysis or the short trick as to how we can very easily remember about the nerve supply of the scalp. So viewers, if you do like my videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon so that you can be further updated about my newer videos. Thank you for watching.